Hello, my name is Paweł Godek and it's my pleasure to uh, present a uh, second part of the webinar on impact investments in clean tech and sustainable startups. Uh, this part of seminar will be uh, provided uh, into three sub parts. The, uh, the first one is about responsible startups and uh, investors. The second is about uh, finding uh, impact investors, how to find them. And the uh, uh, third part is uh, provided uh, is uh, about a clean tech and sustainable startups and investors as examples of uh, responsible uh, investments. So what about startups and investors? Uh, there are two uh, sides of the story uh, and uh, because of uh, different needs and different uh, strengths, uh, they might uh, create a successful business. Of course, it's a general statement, but uh, we might say uh, that uh, responsible startups came to the uh, to the uh, agreement with uh, fresh uh, product ideas, fresh technologies, uh, and they offer it uh, as a value um, for poss possible um, uh, business partners. Uh, but they need a money for development uh, of the company, of the products. Uh, they need sectoral and business development expertise. Uh, so from the other side, in, investors came with uh, money uh, and they came in sometimes with sectoral and enterprise expertise, sometimes with management uh, knowledge and they need fresh business ideas uh, to, to make money on them and to, they need uh, potent uh, business proposals uh, with uh, uh, high market potential with development potential. So that's that uh, element create a basis for potential cooperation of those two sides. Uh, looking at investors, who, what is uh, an investor looking for? Uh, so, uh, of course, uh, it depends. Uh, however, uh, looking uh, investor, a uh, financial investor, venture, uh, venture capital investor, uh, especially look for a uh, high return rate. Of course, depends on the type of the project, type of the business. It might exceed uh, 25 per, uh, percent per annum, but for new projects like new startups, new companies, uh, it might uh, be like 60, 90 or even more, uh, more than 100 percent per annum. Uh, different investors uh, have different preferences and those also depends on the type of the business and risk uh, level. So uh, other elements which are looked for, uh, which uh, investor looking for is a combination of equity, equity and debt instruments uh, as a, a tools for, for the investments. So uh, equity investment instruments uh, provide a chance for a both average re uh, uh, return of uh, investments uh, for investors uh, and also combinations with in combinations with debt instruments and debt instruments are considered as a risk protection uh, instruments. So uh, it's not about uh, uh, profit maximization, but rather limitation of uh, risk. So other elements uh, are related uh, to financing in trenches. So startups uh, shouldn't uh, expect that they uh, be provided with 100% uh, of investments at the beginning of the, uh, of the cooperation with uh, investor. Uh, it's not very much likely because it's uh, considered as a risky. Uh, so tranches are almost sure. So investor also looking for uh, having a, a part of control over the implementation of the project. Uh, I will talk about it uh, later in what forms. Uh, 
each investor has some uh, version or vision of optimal investment. So, so they have some sort of uh, minimum and maximum amount of, of their, uh, their capital investments. And uh, of course, uh, different investors might have a different uh, sectors which are looking for. Uh, so for us, for sure, clean tech and sustainable uh, startups uh, investors are uh, for us are interesting this time. So what are project evaluation criteria which uh, uh, investors uh, use? So a couple of elements, um, most of them are related to the um, stability and and profit future profitability of the business. So for sure commercialization potential of the market offer, uh, growth potential and project development level, uh, project team, time, team quality and experience. So it's not only about uh, the project, but also about the team who will be responsible for development of the project for uh, making the decision, market decision, people decision, uh, technical decision. So uh, investors are looking for uh, teams which have uh, at least one to experience uh, experience uh, experienced um, uh, entrepreneurs or managers. Uh, intellectual property protection. Uh, investor, investors would like to be sure that uh, IP is protected, uh, that uh, cannot be uh, lost by, uh, by, by the company. And of course, uh, market of orientation of the company is, uh, is a very uh, highly evaluated cr criteria. For impact investors, investors, impact factors and impact ind indicators are important and they are car uh, carefully checked th those uh, crit crit uh, this, uh, criteria. Uh, when we look at uh, investment sector, uh, mainly venture capital investors, uh, we might find a quite diversified uh, sector. This is, this is a sector which is uh, built on a different type of in investors. So three main, main types are venture capital funds, business centers, and corporate venture capitals. Uh, venture capital funds might be different. There are different institutional uh, funds, which might be private, uh, might be uh, partly sponsored by, by public uh, funds might uh, focus on uh, early investments, but most, most of them uh, focus on uh, later stages. Uh, business in, uh, angels are uh, uh, individual investors. So these uh, are people, uh, individu individual people who might be, uh, who might act as a full-time, part-time uh, investors. Uh, they might, uh, provide different, they might realize different strategies of investments. So uh, might be uh, also might have a different uh, background uh, from different sectors. So corporate venture capital are uh, corporation uh, are venture capital funds, which are, are owned by one or two uh, uh, large companies, uh, so uh, they usually have a very clear industry profile and industry background. Uh, they uh, they are investors which are are very much uh, focused on uh, technology and on different market uh, on different but but new uh, market ideas. Let me start with uh, the description of uh, those different uh, different uh, market players uh, from venture capital funds. Uh, venture capital funds are uh, private equity in investment vehicles 
uh, that seek to, to, to invest in, in companies that have uh, high return profiles and might have also be uh, quite risky. Uh, they based on uh, company's size, assets and stage of uh, product development. Uh, so um, venture capital funds uh, differ from differ uh, uh, from other investment funds that uh, in that they they focus uh, on very specific type of early stage investments on on, on uh, you know, small companies uh, which uh, have high growth potential might be risky uh, and have a long investment uh, horizon. So venture uh, capital funds might take a more active role in, in the, uh, their investments by uh, providing a, a assistance, by providing guidance, um, uh, advice for uh, portfolio companies, and often uh, holding a board of directors uh, seat. So venture capital funds uh, have uh, portfolio readers that uh, reassemble a barber approach to investing. Many of uh, venture capital funds might uh, make a small investment uh, on a variety of young companies, assuming uh, that at least part of them will achieve a high growth and reward uh, the fund uh, with a, a comparatively large payout at the end. Uh, so that's because that that's because uh, uh, I mentioned at the at the beginning that uh, uh, venture capital uh, investors uh, require a high potential return, which might sometimes exceed even hundred percent per year. So uh, venture capital funds uh, are quite uh, might be quite different, and uh, they have different. Uh, Characteristics. So, the venture capital funds might different uh, might have different investment focus. Uh, for example, uh, they they might focus on early stage investments like seed funds, startup funds, or early growth phases. Um, but most of them are focused on expansion investments, uh, uh, later stage investments. Uh, uh, they focus um, sometimes on acquisition buyout financing, which uh, which is not very much interesting by uh, interesting uh, from the uh, startup perspective. Uh, venture capital funds might uh, have a different uh, ownership structure. Most of uh, them they are private venture capital funds. Um, but some of them might be supported by some public money. Uh, which uh, usually are is uh, related with uh, some sort of um, some sort of influence uh, of uh, of uh, uh, investment uh, focus. So uh, usually uh, public money are uh, used to uh, to, uh, to 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 provide some sort of influence to uh, for uh, investment uh, funds to be more friendly towards uh, startups early stage uh, early stage uh, investments and of course technology based uh, companies type of uh, venture capital uh, is corporate venture capital. Uh, the capital in uh, uh, this kind kind of type of investors are invested uh, is invested by by large enterprises. Uh, so uh, because of that, uh, investments are focused on project uh, introducing new technical solutions and new market solutions, which might be somehow uh, interesting from the point of corporations. Uh, quite often, uh, after successful investments, the investor is ready to take over the control of the company, of the portfolio company, which uh, might be interesting for uh, some companies, 
uh, and creates an uh, interesting uh, uh, exit strategy for uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, corporate venture capital might uh, have joined uh, venture uh, might have joined venture cap, uh, joint venture pay features. Uh, the investor, uh, which is the en enterprise or enterprise through uh, the investment fund, and uh, its operation is able to support a portfolio company in the field of marketing, production management, financial management, and somehow offer even uh, some sort of di distribution for the projects, uh, for the products of the of the portfolio company or uh, support for promotion of portfolio company. So uh, if we look for the examples of uh, corporate venture capital uh, investors, corporate venture capital funds, uh, we can uh, see such a uh, major player investors like uh, Google Ventures, Yamaha Motor Ventures, Intel Capital, Dell Technologies Capital, Orange uh, Digital Ventures. So we might say we might we, we can see uh, the uh, uh, large companies uh, which are quite clearly um, uh, widely known uh, companies uh, can establish uh, their own venture capital investors. Okay, so before we start uh, discussing about business angels. Uh, then let me uh, do some remarks about differences between business angels and venture capital funds. As you know, uh, business angels are uh, individual persons, uh, venture capital funds are in, uh, institutional investors. So uh, they differ in uh, not only in terms of uh, ownership, uh, but also they uh, have usually different investment per period. Um, business centers are looking for investments uh, for a little bit shorter period than venture capital funds, like two, three, up to five years. Uh, in case of venture capital funds, uh, they are also looking for two, three, five years investors, but the uh, investments, but also they might consider uh, even longer investments like uh, 10 years. Uh, in some, uh, especially in some uh, sectors like uh, biotech, like uh, pharma, uh, that uh, such a long uh, investment period uh, period is uh, possible. Uh, if you look at the typical investment value for business centers are much uh, smaller amount of uh, money which might be invested by by uh, angels. In most of cases, it's about between 100,000 uh, up to 500,000 uh, euro. Uh, in case of venture capital funds, it's quite rare to invest less than uh, than, than, than a million or the one million uh, euro. Uh, but uh, in especially if we uh, consider uh, startup uh, venture capitals, uh, venture capital. Uh, Funds, uh, then of course uh, investments in less than one million, like two hundred fifty thousand or, or half a million, is possible. But uh, most of uh, venture capital funds uh, would like to invest less, uh, more than than one million, uh, up to ten million. But but in many cases, uh, even larger investments are possible uh, because of the. Uh, investment period and, and, and the value, uh, we might uh, expect that uh, business centers uh, um, would be interested, interested in uh, seed companies, startup companies, or early, uh, early growth companies. Uh, in case of venture capital fund, funds, uh, the, the most uh, 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 interesting uh, options for venture capital is uh, less uh, start uh, startups, but uh, to less extent, but uh, uh, growth uh, growing companies uh, or uh, expand, uh, expanding companies, they are uh, much uh, more uh, welcome. So. Uh, Mm, if we 
look at the na nature of the support. Uh, so in case of uh, business centers, we might expect that uh, uh, they might provide uh, the companies with uh, industrial knowledge, uh, uh, which, which comes to, uh, from, uh, from previous investments, from their background, uh, business background. They also might uh, provide uh, uh, company portfolio companies with uh, personal contacts. In case of venture capital funds, they are less uh, uh, mm, industry focused, but uh, but they might provide a, a lot of knowledge in terms of general management, legal issues, or financial management uh, to the portfolio companies. So. Uh, so, uh, as we can see, that uh, the, the, the basic idea of the investments investment uh, is the same. Uh, however, uh, many features, many uh, details in uh, business angels focus uh, differ from a venture capital uh, funds uh, focus. So, business angels. Uh, what is the basic characteristics of this group of investors. As you know, uh, they are uh, private, informal investors. Uh, they invest part of their financial resources. Uh, so they invest usually their uh, private money uh, in new, promising, innovative small enterprises. Uh, in many cases, in, uh, at the early stage, because the uh, not uh, high uh, amount of uh, of uh, money, uh, not high from in comparison to venture capital funds. Uh, what is uh, interesting and sometimes uh, cause uh, some problems, uh, uh, they often do not intend to publicly disclose their investment activities. Uh, that cause might cause problems for. Uh, for um, companies who are looking for uh, the contact to how to find the contact with the uh, investment in uh, investors of um, this type of investors. Uh, but uh, uh, what we may uh, say more uh, the business centers are mostly people with uh, professional e experience, uh, which is related to the business. So they are former or current entrepreneurs uh, from various industries. They uh, they have uh, might have management uh, background. So they might be uh, former managers of the companies, uh, lawyers. So uh, for that for that reason, they might uh, uh, offer uh, some sort of uh, high potential to advise. Uh, on building uh, a business. And, uh, they, of course, are oriented to the success of the venture because the, the uh, profit from the, uh, from the investment is the key uh, to uh, their uh, investment strategy. So uh, there are many uh, cases of uh, successful business angels uh, investments uh despite the fact uh, uh, i mentioned that uh, most of business angels uh, would like to uh, don't uh, want to disclose their investments activity mm, however uh, some uh, institutions some organizations uh, collect uh, case studies of supported by business businesses and and uh, make them uh, published uh, in order to uh, to provide uh, some sort of uh, very practical uh, experience uh, to the audience. So uh, we might find uh, such organizations like East Midlands uh, Business Angels uh, Limited or the British Private Equity and Venture Capital Association uh, as uh, providers of of reports which uh, uh, show uh, the, the, the good uh, the, the good practice in in uh, business interest investments. Uh, one of the uh, quite interesting also materials uh, related to this is compendium of venture capital of European co-investment funds with business angels and uh, by uh, created by European uh, business angels network. 
when you consider uh, investments from uh, the source, from the side of business angels, investors, uh, there are some criteria which uh, should be considered by you. Uh, firstly, uh, industry expertise. Uh, it's, a, it's a good idea to find investment partner who understand the uh, industry, who understand the sector, who understand the uh, details uh, of the operations uh, in that particular uh, industry. Uh, ideally, uh, through the personal experience in this business. Uh, so, secondly, functional expertise. Investor with uh, functional expertise have mastery in some or, or all of the fun, uh, foundational skills associated associated with entrepreneurship and uh, fundraising. Um, so, the, the third network. It's it's usually a good idea to find investors with a portfolio of other companies you might uh, you might uh, try to cooperate you might to uh, to to learn from them uh, you might uh, to try to find uh, talents uh, for for your company uh, and sometimes even other potential investors so for uh, track record it can be helpful to do some research into in the investing track of that particular investor how they worked with the companies uh, that look yeah, like yours uh, uh, is uh, how was how successful he, he, he she was um, uh, what kind of uh, communication strategy uh, uh, he/she perceived. Uh, so, next one: services and uh, advice as a platform to help you grow. The most helpful investors tend to provide not only capital but also suite of services to help investee. Uh, so, from this part, part, uh, particular perspective, industry expertise, functional expertise is a key to the success of um, support, non-financial support for the investee. Uh, one red flag, if we talk about a uh, term sheet, keep it, uh, keep it simple, keep it as uh, simple as is possible. Uh, if some too many, uh, too many rules, too many points in the uh, term sheet might be uh, too complicated might be uh, uh, create a problem for the investee. Till now, uh, most of my uh, comments were related to the uh, private uh, investments. Uh, however, of course, as an alter alternative for startups to mobilize resources uh, mm, is to use uh, various forms of uh, public-private partnerships, uh, pu public money. Um, three major forms can be can be found for uh, for startups or for small or medium sized companies trying to reach uh, IPO stages. Uh, so, firstly, yeah, technology and scientific grants. Uh, those grants are monetary or in kind compensation offered by public or private source to advance or uh, a specific field of science or engineering deemed uh, important to the grantor. Uh, of course, uh, in case of uh, EU funding, uh, most of uh, preferences uh, can be found in EU strategies, uh, different uh, formal documents. Mm, uh, so if a small company, if a startup company, uh, technology startup com company uh, align well with the, those uh, aims, uh, then funds can be uh, used to grow uh, all of the venture. So, secondly, government performance contracts. Um, uh, they take uh, public-private partnerships a uh, step further, even by creating a buyer-seller per performance contracting uh, relationships between a, a small business and uh, a public uh, player. And uh, third, uh, there are some. Uh, money some funds for economic development support uh, so it, this is the process of utilization of public sector programs 
programs aimed at uh, generating uh, growth, job, job growth, for example. Uh, so on the on the front end uh, of the business growth, and national or EU economic development programs bring uh, uh, discount financing, loan guarantees, infrastructure support, workforce development, labor subsidies. So. Uh, uh, as we can see, not only uh, capital investments are uh, to be considered by uh, startup uh, uh, companies in clean tech and uh, sustainable um, uh, areas. Okay, uh, that was uh, my comment about uh, different kind of investors, but uh, when uh, finally uh, investor is uh, Mm, chosen has been chosen uh, by startup team by a startup company yeah, it's time to send a uh, introductory uh, deck or pitch deck uh, of around 15 slides um, of course as you can see uh, as you can imagine 15 slides is uh, not uh, too much material so you need to be very uh, communicative uh, very uh, you need to think about the uh, content of those slides uh, in order to provide the most important uh, information about the uh, project, about the company. So mainly, what are key facts, sector, geography, performance, timeline, and beneficiary? Uh, what makes the company special? So what is the team? Uh, of a uh, management team, what is the story behind the company? Uh, what's the impact? Uh, what's the edge? Uh, how you are going to compete with your uh, competitors? Uh, and finally, why a world work? Uh, so opportunity size, what is the size of the market and uh, final size of the market? What is the, the momentum? Uh, of the company uh, possible to achieve to be achieved uh, what is the competitions uh, uh, what are the indications uh, that you are able to uh, execute the strategy uh, so it's uh, uh, recommended to include some sort of theory of change and the SDGs are targeted by by startup uh, so that the investor qu can quickly understand what is the intended impact uh, you are looking for. Uh, so similarly, uh, including a proposed impact metrics uh, is a, a key element of the pitch deck. Re remember, please remember, uh, impact invest and, uh, investing implies measure and uh, manage impact. So, uh, so in case of impact investors, uh, but very important are uh, indicators which are described the uh, impact which is not financial impact but uh, uh, related with the sustainable goals, uh, for example. Uh, so, however, of course, um, this is uh, impact investors are still investors uh, are still in, uh, financial investors so. Uh, so you cannot neglect the financial analysis of the project. So those two uh, parts, uh, I mean, this uh, impact part and financial part are equally important for the uh, final success uh, in the negotiations of uh, with business, uh, with uh, investor, a financial investor. Uh, okay, so it's time uh, to provide you with some examples. Uh, so when we are talking about some impact uh, uh, ventures, uh, impact, uh, sorry, impact investors. So one of them is the uh, uh, Venture Capital Fund, which is Cilia Impact Ventures. Cilia is the um, uh, first impact driven fund in the Czech Republic, which uh, investing mainly in social enterprises. Uh, Tilia invests in companies that are able to demonstrate their impact through the clear impact metrics and KPIs, which is uh, a highly highlighted uh, 
in this uh, in this case and in many uh, other uh, impact uh, investors. So Tilia invests in the uh, themes like uh, innovation and governments, quality education, environmental and sustainability, health and well-being. So uh, that's our requirements, but Tilia provides financial as well non-financial support to help uh, their portfolio of companies uh, thrive. So uh, till now, uh, the, the, the investor invested in five companies, which are listed uh, on the on the slide. So that is just one of the of the many uh, impact investors. Um, but how they how how they might be found by by uh, startup companies. Uh, in fact, several networks uh, exist where, where uh, you can look for the uh, impact investors. Uh, of course, first you need to uh, be aware uh, in uh, how is your investment readiness, uh, what is the level of investment uh, readiness. If uh, you are early stage startup, um, you might look for impact in uh, business angels, uh, as we mentioned, as I mentioned, or some incubation acceleration programs, uh, which are uh, investing arm of early stage uh, impact uh, um, venture capital funds. If you are a hybrid, uh, if you have a, a hybrid business model, uh, which uh, combine uh, a for-profit activities and not from, for, from not for profit activities you can also look for uh, at foundation and and the venture philanthropies uh, which might provide you uh, a financial assistance especially for this non profit uh, activities mm, of course uh, it's it's good to start uh, by uh, asking by uh, doing research at your local national uh, business uh, angels network or networks and look for uh, for impact business angels. Uh, however, of course, uh, it's not only local uh, perspective is uh, possible. Um, venture capital uh, sector is uh, quite international and uh, open for uh, international perspective. So uh, there are um, many different uh, community uh, communities uh, which uh, might be uh, useful for, for at the stage of uh, searching for impact investors. For example, uh, EVPA uh, directory provide you uh, very much uh, assistance uh, when you can. Uh, Look for for the addresses for the contacts uh, to uh, the um, to the investors. Uh, if you are, for example, woman entrepreneur, you can look at some gender smart investors. Um, so those are investors uh, embedding a gender factor in their investment process for uh, mainly for better economic, environmental, and social ed outcomes. And there is a, a, a project uh, named Sage 4.0, uh, which tracked, uh, tracks uh, venture capital, private equity, private debt with a gender lens. So uh, you might uh, look at Sage 4.0 to get uh, more information. Also, there are uh, accessible uh, uh, many different database, databases uh, uh, in the market, in the in the um, internet, of course, one of the examples is the room uh, dot uh, co, um, which shows uh, uh, this is a database uh, of uh, venture capital funds. But you can also uh, you can also search by um, by impact uh, criteria, and uh, this database shows more than uh, seventy European venture capital funds. Uh, which are, are identified as a venture as a, as a impact investors. Before we proceed to the uh, next and uh, and last part of the webinar, uh, I would like to have a question 
for you, which is uh, related to different uh, options of uh, investments uh, accessible for a startup uh, ventures, especially startup in uh, clean tech and sustainable uh, sectors. So the question is, what type of a venture capital investor uh, investors uh, is most suitable for uh, startup ventures? Uh, business angels, venture capital funds, or corporate venture capitals? That's the question. What is your answer? Okay, uh, if your answer is uh, business centers, that's the correct one. Uh, if uh, no, uh, if that was not your answer, so probably you should go uh, once again to the you know, some uh, particular chapters of the uh, of the webinar. Um, uh, business centers are the most suitable for uh, business startup speakers of the uh, low. Um, amount of investments, uh, relatively uh, low, relatively small uh, amount of uh, investing uh, uh, capital. And uh, um, they, uh, very, uh, they focus uh, very much on uh, early stage uh, investors because of the, their uh, profile, uh, knowledge profile, sector profile, uh, and amount of uh, investor. Okay. Uh, that was the question, and uh, let me go to the next part of the webinar, which is the last one, and it's about uh, clean tech as and sustainable startups uh, and investors' cases. So, uh, a couple of cases of um, uh, uh, startups and uh, investors. One of the, uh, the the first one is um, a company from uh, the Netherlands, from Amsterdam, uh, called Simpower. And, uh, it's uh, the company which uh, provides services for for more than two hundred industrial and commercial uh, customers. And uh, Simpower uh, help to reduce uh, customers' energy costs and uh, help to decrease their CO2 emission uh, using flexibility of their energy consuming assets, uh, a process known as a demand response or demand side flexibility. So uh, this uh, process, uh, this services creates, uh, create a more robust electricity systems that uh, over time will be able to phase out a reliance, uh, a reliance on fossil fuels, that is a long-term um, uh, goal, a long-term strategy. Uh, so uh, how uh, this uh, impact uh, is measured by the company? Um, till now, uh, the company measured and monitored and reported uh, on its impact uh, internally and, its, uh, and to its uh, shareholders. Uh, but uh, was hesitant to share any numbers externally uh, as the company uh, on uh, on developed uh, calculation method had not been certified by the third party so uh, it's not only about the uh, the numbers but only about way of calculation uh, and here's the quotation from ceo that's uh, that uh, that it's uh, something that they they are uh, plan to do in the in the future uh, to sum up uh, what is the uh, what are uh, investments uh, done uh, or get uh, acquired by uh, simpower uh, simpower is a uh, quite uh, new company and uh, in uh, last year in 2022 uh, they got uh, two investments to round of uh, funding. The first uh, round is uh, 22 million of uh, euro in July, uh, and that was 
uh, venture capital done by venture capital impact uh, investors, namely uh, Activate Capital, Rubio Impact Ventures, uh, PDENH, uh, Expand Capital, and Rockstar. So, uh, so it's a syndicated invest uh, investment. A uh, couple of investments uh, are here. And the, the, the second uh, investments in, uh, investment in November 2022 uh, was uh, much uh, smaller and uh, it was uh, 3 million of euro. Mm, so, uh, but done by, by, by three uh, investors, uh, the same as some of uh, previous investors, Activate Capital Rubio and and PDE and H. And so uh, that's about uh, company and uh, uh, Simpower. But uh, of course, we can find uh, many other companies on the market which are related uh, with uh, sustainable uh, sectors and sustainable way of operation. Um, here we can see uh, we can uh, we can look at three examples of uh, of market platforms which focus uh, focuses on on resources reuse. Uh, so, uh, for example, Bike Fair, uh, other uh, company from Netherlands, uh, like the previous one, uh, offers uh, a marketplace for verified second-hand bikes. So Bike Fair is a company which is a market platform for second-hand bikes, but uh, they uh, invented um, the way how to uh, how to effectively uh, evaluate the uh, the condition of the of the bike, uh, and uh, they are growing uh, as a as a leader of the uh, this market. Uh, so uh, investor in this case was uh, all three companies are startup com companies and uh, I, you can see that uh, they have not just one investor. Uh, Ragnarsson, one, uh, Ragnarsson Venture um, Capital Fund invested in Bikefair uh, and uh, also in the second of the companies at Pool Berlin. Which is located, of course, uh, in Berlin, Germany. And the uh, second company offers fashion as a service, uh, also market platform. Um, and uh, in this uh, platform, uh, users rent and swap menswear, ga menswear garments for a monthly subscription fee. Uh, subscription fee. So it's quite uh, innovative uh, business model. Uh, um, but uh, promising with uh, terms of, uh, let's say, reuse of resources, but uh, of course it's uh, quite surprising uh, how it might be related to the fashion. However, um, uh, the company is uh, growing in, in, in Berlin, uh, and so we will see how, how successful will be in the future. So the third uh, example of market platforms which focus on, 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 on uh, circular economy uh, is Vanilla Steel, also from Ber Berlin, from Germany, other G German company. Uh, it's, uh, it is independent digi digital platform for metals in Europe. Uh, so it's unusual, uh, unusual, uh, I would say, uh, segment for uh, impact investments. However, uh, this uh, particular company focuses on non-prime steel. Uh, how the, the, the company points, points out that the, the sale on non-prime steel generates, generates uh, CO2 savings uh, of between uh, 96 to 70 percent when compared the same tonnage of tonnage of prime steel. Uh, so that's uh, the area of, uh, let's say, um, uh, sustainability, uh, sustainable impact. Uh, investor in this case is MC, MSM uh, Venture Capital. So um, 
just to uh, just to uh, uh, not focus only on companies but also on investors focus on uh, focus uh, on uh, uh, clean tech uh, industry uh, we might uh, discuss or focus on uh, systemic capital which is which is uh, exactly clean, clean tech oriented venture capital fund uh, in fact uh, uh, nowadays there are two uh, venture capital funds systemic fund one was launched in 2018 and uh, has since deployed uh, 32 millions of capital 32 million dollars uh, of capital into 19 climate tech uh, companies uh, like two of them nature uh, nature metrics uh, which is uh, environmental dna database company and the second one zero avia uh, which is a very interesting company uh, it, this is a pioneer or in short whole hydrogen aviation which is very uh, uh, promising uh, uh, segment of the market uh, in uh, uh, last year, summer 22, uh, Systemic Capital has announced the first close of the, its latest climate tech fund, which uh, will invest in early stage climate innovation companies uh, after raising of uh, 70, 70, 000, 70 millions of dollars uh, of a total fundraising target uh, of 200 millions of uh, dollars. Uh, those, the second uh, fund, Systemic 2, uh, a systemic fund two target is to invest in around 25 companies across Europe and and uh, USA, United uh, uh, and North America, uh, so USA and Canada. And this fund will focus on businesses uh, with uh, potential to drive systemic systemic change in in four areas, uh, namely. Uh, sustainable food uh, and materials, clean transportation, climate intelligence and finance, and climate restorations. Uh, so that was all material uh, during this uh, uh, webinar. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation uh, in the webinar. And uh, goodbye. Have a nice day. Thanks.